Cheers everybody, welcome to the second beer review of a six pack released by McCall's Brewery, um, a nationwide collaboration with other breweries to raise awareness of men's mental health. Um, the second beer I've picked up out of random, didn't kind of like look at the style, I just picked a colour and brought it to the show, <laughs> if you want to say that. We've got um, a Session Cold IPA, and this is a collaboration with Roosters out of Nairsburg, very good brewery, done plenty of Roosters beers on the channel over the years. Um, Favourite Roosters beer has to be the baby-faced assassin, cracking beer, and Bath Hass, who are involved with all these beers, and McCall's, of course. So we've got a can of their... Perfect Circle, Session Cold IPA, 4.1% ABV, uh, no, 4.3% should I say, percent ABV, and the charity uh, benefiting from this beer is The Grieving Pint, so there you go, so first of all, um, you can get these beers separately, they're £5 a can, pick one up, if you see one, just pick it up, you know, and give it a whirl, and um, Tell tell me what you think in the comments. Um, Grieving Pint is uh, a men's mental health charity whose aim is to provide regular and accessible sessions for young men to speak about their mental health. Big support of mental health charities. Um, if you want to know why, check out my uh, May Day six pack uh, unboxing video. If you want to call it that, I'll put up the other week. So let's get on with the beer. Cold IPAs. Now, cold IPAs is, is a relatively new style, really. Um, I've only had a few. Um, Camden did one, and oh, I can't remember the other one. It'll come to me, maybe, through the review. Let's give a whiff. Yeah, hoppy, lemony. I'm going to sneeze. Try not to sneeze. Hay fever. It's hay fever season. I'll try not to sneeze. <laughs> Let's go in. Yeah, gooseberry and lemons. Slight hint of tropicalness there. Not much. So let's pour it out like you do. McCall's Brewery, based in... Uh, trying to think of... Evenwood, near Bishop Auckland. Um, they got a tap house. Open most weekends. Um, I actually bumped into the brewer, the head brewer. Can't remember his name, but he was. All I remember from him was that his enthusiasm was infectious. He loved beer and he loved doing what he's doing. And for me, if you can transfer that enthusiasm into the beer itself, you're you're onto a winner with me. You really are. So the. Beer itself, slight haziness, clear gold with a slight haze to it, thin in head. Let's go with. Yeah, lemon and a hint of tropicalness. Definitely. Gotta go in. Cheers, everybody. As you go in, there's a swathe of bitterness, of lemon bitterness, straight away. The mouthfeel is slightly hard. There's spears of carbonation, which gives it a refreshing quality in the mouth, to be honest. Towards the back end, you've got this big stab of bitterness, which is really prevalent throughout the taste of it pretty light in body but it's pretty refreshing stuff um the style cold ipa i've, I've yet to really embrace it's it's a cold ipa for me it, it it's a style i need to grow into um whether or not it takes off generally in supermarkets or whatever remains to be seen it could be similar like the brute ipa style where it'll just fizzle out pardon the pun um coming to this um what i think of it well
plenty of hoppy character there on that front end. Lots of lemon berryness there. Slight in the tropical, not much. Body of the beer feels lagery to me. Then you've got this straight bitter edge towards the back end. Um, it's nice. It's, is it a good interpretation of the style? I'd say it is. Um, so it's not a bad beer. Um, it's a great cause. And for me, the cause means more. Um, sometimes the, the cause is the most important thing. Where is in this case? For sure, I'm starting to tie myself in the knots here. Coming to this, um, I would tell you to buy it because of the charities involved and everything. And um, I'm going to, you know, buy it. It's not a bad beer. It's it's loyal to its style. It's it's that's all I can say about it. It's a beer which is very much fits within its style and. That's it, and a good thing about this pack is, is that it introduces different styles of beer. If you bought the pack, it, it, every beer is a different style, and it it introduce, you know, to non beer drinker even who's into men, you know, who supports mental health awareness, you know, a non beer drinker would enjoy it because it'll open up the doors maybe to styles which they really really like. So for me. It gets a thumbs up. Um, Grieving Pie, check them out on the internet. Roosters, great brewery. And big thumbs up to McCall's for being the instigator of it all. So, boys and girls, yeah, it's a great, great, you know, great beer, you know, loyal to its style from the box. And you can't say more, to, more than that. The, can't say more than that. Thank you very much for watching this video review. Please subscribe, let me know in the comments. See you on my next one. Bip bip.